guys. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, actually get uh, how far down the user is actually touching on the trigger uh, for the Vive controller. And it's actually really simple to do. Um, so the only thing I've done is just to set up here is to grab the Steam Gear plugin from the Asset Store, dragged in a camera rig prefab, um, and we're going to take a look at controller left and controller right. So I've already pre-written the script and attached it. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a look at Visual Studio and we can see what we're doing. So if you guys haven't watched the previous tutorial I did on uh, controller input in five minutes, I'd highly recommend doing that as it will definitely make your life easier when you're looking at this code. But it's pretty simple uh, either way. All we're really doing is uh, we are uh, making sure that we get the axis, uh, the x-axis to be specific, of the actual trigger. And basically what that means is uh, the x-axis is a value between 0 and 1 that represents how far down the user has pressed on the trigger. And so if you can see here, we, uh, we do 1 minus trigger axis to get uh, the actual value itself, and we debug log it here. So before we cover the rest of this code, this is actually all you really need if you really just need to see how far down the user is pressing. And we can kind of see that if we press play, um, we go to the console, and you can see that my value is going down as I'm pressing the trigger. And finally, I press the trigger all the way, and I go to zero. But if you guys notice, right, the rest, this whole thing went from one all the way down to zero, or all the way down to 0.18 relatively quickly. But there was a sudden jump from 0.18 to zero. And the reason that is, is because if you actually take your Vive controller and press it down, you'll notice at the end there's a little click. And that click actually accounts for 0.2 uh, of the actual one right on the axis. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and found a modulate function and I use that to actually modulate my result so that the, it lurps between uh, 0 and 0.8 instead of uh, 0 and 1. That way the user that extra click won't actually do anything. Um, uh, obviously you could you could obviously implement this any way you want. Um, this is just my way. Um, so yeah, so if you guys have any questions, comments, if that was a little too fast, let me know and I'd be happy to help you guys out with